I mean, Tacitus um, lays claim, as many historians from the ancient world do, to um, writing in an unbiased fashion. And um, whether we believe those claims, um, I think, is, is unclear. He clearly did feel strongly about certain things. I mean, I think the um, comparative uh, material that you get in Suetonius's biographies and much later on in the third century AD in Cassius Dio, uh, his Roman history, um, shows you, I think, that what Tacitus is giving us is um, a narrative which is uh, very um, rich in the level of detail that it provides, and also a narrative where um, you, you get Tacitus really um, drawing attention to how deeply he has been digging. So, um, for example, when he's talking about Tiberius um, at uh, one point, um, he refers to a, a source, uh, Agrippina's memoirs. Um, and so Tacitus is trying to, I think, communicate that he's really um, done his homework. He's, he's really researched things as best he can. The kind of material that he's talking about um, and the uh, genre of historical writing itself does, I think, admit a degree of um, creative imagination that we today would, I think, not totally be happy with um, in terms of um, eyewitness accounts, that sort of that sort of thing. But he's trying to recreate um, how it might have been, um, and he's also trying to create a narrative which um, transcends the, the events of the the time that that he's actually operating in here. Um, he wants this to be relevant um, for a long time. He wants people to um, read this narrative, not simply to find out um, what um, Nero was doing in you know, one particular year, but actually to look at these figures, um, to look at the emperors, and to uh, look at how you deal with them, uh, for example. So um, I think the um, situation is that we've got a historian here who is um, concerned to do very much more than just putting together a reliable narrative. Um, he's got many other things that he wants to achieve in, in writing uh, the histories and the annals.